Hello everybody and welcome to another Construct 2 tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload your game project to the Congregate Arcade. So, first things first, we're going to go to New. So I'm just going to show you guys from a template in the Sierra Examples. So we're going to just do a quick conversion of the Auto Runner. So enter. And alright, here we go. So first things first, we need the object type, insert new object, and we need to type in con for congregate. Alright, then once we have that, we are going to create an action by which we submit our player score. So, in this case, the score is stored in the total distance. So when this this is based so this is basically the end state is when our player falls off the bottom of the screen. So before these two actions, we are going to create an action that submits a statistic and we're just going to call this score very plain but it works and this is total distance all right enter and we're going to drag that up because if we reset the global variables to default our total distance will go back to zero and then we will just be submitting zero so we want to make sure that this action is always above any other actions that may happen to affect our total distance number all right so Next, what we're going to do is we're actually pretty much done with this. That's basically all we need to do to get a statistic uploaded to the congregate servers. And oh, just to make it clear, this is essentially we're submitting a statistic that will be used as a type where it essentially is a high score value. So if you have other types of scores, like for example, a minimum score, like a best lap time, then you will still submit the same type of statistic, except that when it is uploaded, for example, it could replace the next highest value that's the lowest, if that makes sense. So essentially, if you have a lap time of one minute and that's better than your previous two minutes because it was longer and took you took you longer, then that would be like a minimum value, but you would still be submitting the same statistic. So this is all manipulated on the congregate side that I'll show you in just a minute or two. All right, so what we're going to do is now we can export the project. So you can either go to here and click export project or you can just use the little hot button right here. So congregate, of course, and this is good. Now I find the PNG recom recompression, sorry, is very, even though it's called very slow, it's actually not any slower than the Minify script. The Minify script actually takes longest time or consistently on my computer. Um, that is just something that I've happened to find. So I always do brute force slow, especially when I'm exporting to somewhere online. And now that's done, we're going to open destination folder. We're going to minimize this, minimize our browser. And then what we're going to do is we are going to remove the index file. Now this is because the index file and all other files actually need to be separate in how you upload them to congregate, which I'll show you. So what we need to do is we need to package all of this in a tidy little zip file. So I use 7-zip to add everything to a zip file. You can also just use the standard Windows shell, I believe, to just send to a compressed zip folder. But I'm going to use 7-zip. 7-zip, give, give it a look. It's free forever, pretty much. And it works very quickly and well. And that's it. We don't need anything else in here because it's all packaged up nicely for us. So we're going to go to the congregate front page. And as long as you're logged in, if you mouse over games, you can go to upload your game for developers. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in platformer. No, this is an auto runner template. Ha! Joke's on you. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's in there. Okay, so game description. This is a short, um, I like to think of it as the elevator speech. So this is something short and sweet that, short and, short and sweet that you want to hook in player, potential players with and get them interested. Because this is what they'll read, I believe, on mouse over of your game on when they see it somewhere on the site. So I'm not going to bother typing anything here to sum up the auto runner. But um, for your own game, I would give it a lot of thought and show it to your friends to see what they think of it. And then game instructions. So what? All right. So this is kind of I, I almost think of the game instructions as optional in a way, because I've noticed that players tend not to read the game instructions. They tend to rely on what they see in game, and if they don't understand it from their time spent playing it, then they will just wind up frustrated. So game instructions, having this here to tell your players, like for example, in the auto runner template, press any key or touch the screen to jump over obstacles, essentially, 
this is good to have here, but more importantly, you want to make this a lot more apparent when they're actually playing the game. So you want to make sure that they don't have to rely on the game instructions text because they probably won't have read it by the time that they start in the game. Or at least so I've found. Maybe that's not the majority, but it's definitely a significant portion of players that jump in. All right, and then finally we have category. So for category, we're just going to go ahead and label it action because that's basically what it is. There's not a whole lot of categories. It should be pretty apparent from what you're uploading that you know what it is. And then collaborators. If anyone else on the congregate site has worked with you to create this game, then you can go ahead and add them. Um, it's basically their username as far as I know. And then if you'd like to receive bug reports by email, you can put in your email, whatever you'd like, and then you'll be contacted automatically whenever someone enters something. So, game description, this can't be blank. Okay. Yeah, um, just going to leave that basically blank for now since we're not, I'm not actually going to be publishing this directly because it's just a template game. All right, so, game file. What we want to do is we want to upload the index.html file. So next we have width and height, and so we're just going to alt tab back, and this is going to be not our layout size, but our window size, so that's 630 by 360, 630 by 360. Now, I've noticed, Congregate actually labels 800 as the maximum width for games. However, I've noticed also that their FAQs often ref refer to their games specifically as Flash games, and they don't make note of the fact that they have switched more from specifically a Flash portal to also include HTML5 games. And that combined with the fact that one of my games actually extends a little bit beyond the 800 pixel width, I don't think that's the maximum. Now, we're not going to be bothering changing the width in this example. You guys can go ahead and experiment however you want. If you find a better width than height that works for you, that's great. Go ahead and use it. I don't think Congregate is as much of a stickler of their previous limit as they used to be. So, And I don't even know what it is now, if there even is a limit. So go ahead and experiment. And then we would like to upload additional files for the game. This is specifically our zip file that contains the rest of the files that we need be able to actually play the content in the game all right and then game icon is when someone mouses over where they ever they see your game on the congregate website this is basically what they're going to be seeing and then also for anywhere from one to five screenshots i recommend at least three screenshots preferably five you do generally want to present a bunch of different examples of your game and with that we come to the whether or not this game is exclusive to congregate so we can check this box as long as we meet all the required conditions. If we have not uploaded this game to anywhere else, public or private, then we can check this box. And that is important because this checkbox affects the percent revenue share that you get from ads on the website. So if you're caught lying on this form, your account will likely get banned and your game will be pulled from Congregate. So make sure that if you ever go to upload this game anywhere else and you have checked that this game is exclusive to congregate come back here and uncheck the box and then update that and then you can go ahead and upload your game wherever else you want and then we don't need access to congregate's virtual kids api if your game is that far in development you probably aren't watching this tutorial and then finally we yes we have to check all of the licensing agreements so of course we have our standard terms of service and verification that we were one of the ones that did in fact develop the game that we don't have any third-party ads anything besides congregate ads can't have those and then we don't want to obviously we, and then we also don't want to have a login system that's separate from congregate as well and then finally we have statistic so this is our statistic statistic name and this is statistic score as you can see right here so this is going to be a high score so we want this to be a max type if you have min type was where i was talking about earlier for example where a lower score is better you would want min type and add type so this is like a very this is like a total over every single time that your player has played the game so this could be in our case we could have a add type that is like total distance traveled ever over every time that it's been played by that one player replace type is an odd one i don't really have any ideas in mind for what could be or a case in which i'd use the replace type but uh maybe you guys will and then display in leaderboards is what we want when we want to sh when we want to be able to show to all players playing the game that these are the scores of the players so in this game we in this case we could do hot uh, distance high score 
thought something simple like that. You may want to make a more descriptive name, but in this, this suits for our example, essentially. So then statistic description, basically you would just describe here exactly what this, what, what this means, like what is this? In this case, it's a total distance traveled throughout the game, total distance ran, up to you. And then finally, we have statistic name. So I made this score, however, it's important to note that when that when your leaderboards are shown on the congregate website, that they are sorted alphanumerically. So, for example, if you have a statistic name A and you have a statistic name B, statistic A will be shown before B. And whichever one is the highest, like alphabetically, will be shown first. So when your user loads the page, if you want to have a specific statistic name, shown first what you want is to make sure that statistic name has a letter that is higher in the alphabet than than your other statistics so i re i recently ran into this i actually had to manipulate statistics a little bit to try to get it displaying as i wanted it so it's just something to keep in mind and then you also cannot just remove statistics what you have to do is you actually have to uncheck display in leaderboards and then it simply will not be shown publicly anymore so, but yeah, you cannot just remove a statistic. You have to just make it private instead of public, essentially. Think of it that way. And then finally, last but not least, we have our tags. So these are tags that are related. In this game, um, I don't know if there's anything that applies directly except HTML5 because it's essentially an HTML5 game and any game that you publish with Construct2 will be an HTML5 game. Now you can't create tags of your own, but basically the way the system works is that you just find a tag that you think applies to your game and you just add that. And then users can also vote on those tags to show how they th how relevant that they think that tag is to, you, to describing your game. So then we're gonna click upload and boom. All right, there it is. Now you can't actually preview leaderboard scores i noticed this myself when i as i've been uploading as i've been uploading my own projects so you have to actually have a game that's in published mode essentially so once we actually finished polishing things like screenshots and the game icon and such and we want to publish that then that's when we can actually see the leaderboards i'm not entirely enthused with that like choice on congregate's part but it's just the way it is, so it's something to keep in mind. And that's basically it. There's not a whole lot else of note. So thank you guys very much for watching, and if you're interested to see some of the other projects that I've uploaded, please feel free to take a peek. I have a game that I recently just released today, actually, called Ninja Kunai Training. And then I have another one, which is a bit older, that I actually developed quite a while ago, and it's called Protopilot. So if you'd like to check them out, go to my Congregate account and yeah, give it a shot and play. I still need feedback on them, so I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.